Number one, backyard launch roller coaster. Some people have a fish pond in their back garden. Will from London has a roller coaster. Most standard roller coasters work by using a tall chain lift to get the train up to speed and round their track, using the force of gravity as its accelerant. But Will didn't have enough room in his garden to build a big tall structure, so he needed to find another way to get the train up to speed. And how did he do that? He launched it. Roller coasters like this are commonly called accelerator coasters and use a cable wrapped around a drum to pull the train along. This one is powered by a 90 mm air ram that develops over 1,200 pounds of thrust and accelerates the rider at over four times the force of gravity. A piston pushes it forward he built from discs of thick plywood stacked together over a steel rod. Simple. The roller coaster itself is pretty sparse, with wooden rungs working as the track and the rider strapped in tightly to a wooden seat. After the initial thrust from the piston, the cart slows down nice and quickly, thanks to a steep incline that keeps the coaster on the track with gravity doing its bit. It's a short ride, but it sure looks like a fun one. Number 2. Phoenix 4 What is it? A DIY rocket that launches up to the edge of space, of course. Built by Kurt Von Delius out in Phoenix, Arizona, hence the name, this rocket is a two-stage project. The first stage is burnout separation. The second is ignition, launching it to 96,000 feet. That's almost three times the altitude of commercial airliners. In other words, high. The Phoenix 4 reaches around 2,038 miles an hour, meaning it breaks the sound barrier. And the most fantastic thing? After its flight, the rocket is recoverable and can fly again. Epic. Number 3. Porsche 996 Hoverboard Assembled entirely by hand, this Porsche 996 hoverboard was created by the Bell & Bell Studio in Barcelona and uses a real Porsche car as the basis for its manufacture. Thanks to this, the hoverboard looks as sharp as a real Porsche and drives as smoothly as one, if only from the kitchen to the living room. Intended as a couch you can move on, expect a smooth and comfortable drive, but don't take it out on the road like you would a real Porsche. Number 4. Plastic Shredder This is a plastic shredder built by Five for a Change made to fight plastic pollution. What does it do? Simple, it shreds plastic. The shredder runs on a two-horsepower motor hooked into a gearbox with a 25 to 1 reduction. They mounted an empty plastic coffee can into the gearbox to house the wiring for the shredder's controls, which is a great way to upcycle plastic while they shred it. The shredder's creators five for a change are a developing community with a goal for change in this world, and it looks like with this gadget, they're doing just that. The shredder can be used to get rid of any old small plastic parts, such as milk carton caps and used solo cups. This plastic shredder costs them about $600 to make, using mainly spare parts and old pieces of plastic to build it. Pretty amazing stuff, just keep your hands away from the shredder while you use it. Number 5. Paratrike A paratrike or paramotor is a form of paragliding, where the rider is strapped into a seat and the glider itself has a motor attached to its back. Think of it as a powered paraglider, and say that five times quickly. The paratrike is one of the safest flying machines around, so it's a great way to take to the air with minimal risk of an incident. Anyone can fly one because they don't require any physical effort to take off. That said, anything that takes to the skies with a motor attached to it can be dangerous, so be careful. Like a usual paragliding experience, the paratrike has a parachute attached to the back of it that provides the necessary resistance to lift you into the air for a beautiful and relatively safe paragliding experience. Number 6. Tractor This epic homemade tractor built by YouTubers Vinitro Build in 2014 is the classiest looking tractor you're ever going to find. It is constructed to drive around and carry heavy loads. This tractor is striking for its naked exterior and beautiful wooden finish. It's characterized by its slogan engraved onto the seat that reads, It is what it is. And what it is, is a fantastic homemade build. With its big Ford Model Y rear wheels and Space Saver front wheels, the tractor looks like a surprisingly smooth ride, albeit a loud one, and also carries a similarly homemade motorbike on the trailer behind it, so it's able to pull some pretty heavy loads. Number 7. The Furfy Wheel The Furfy Wheel is a water-powered spit roast. Yes, you heard that correctly. Built with empty Furfy beer cans attached to an old bicycle wheel, this is an environmentally friendly way to roast your pork or chicken at home. The creators, Fork and Farm Artisan Homestead in Tasmania, Australia, attached a metal rod to the bicycle wheel to use as a spit for the meal they're cooking. The rod goes through the meat, so it spins if the bicycle wheel does, and they do that by pumping up water from a solar pump submerged in the bucket the furfy wheel sits on top of. The water flows through the beer can, spinning the wheel and the rod attached to it at the perfect rate to roast whatever is on the spit. Food for everyone, and the environment gets a nice treat too. Number 8. Hovercraft 
In 2011, Ken McDonald managed to build his hovercraft at home to take joy rides around his garden. He was using a centrifugal blower, kind of like a strong leaf blower. It lifts the hovercraft off the ground and is attached to a large square wooden base that the driver can sit on and steer the blower as a rudder, kind of like how you would steer a motorboat. Of course, there's quite a bit more to it than that, but for the most part, this homemade hovercraft is just a lot of fun and can reach speeds of up to around 20 miles per hour on a flat surface. Number 9. Steam Engine Car This fully functional homemade steam traction engine car runs on burning wood. It isn't fast, but it is effective. Built by Stephanie Walls' late husband in 2016, this steam engine car can pull loads of about 5,000 pounds. That said, because it is so low to the ground, there isn't much practical use for it apart from that. It looks great, though. Kind of like the Hogwarts Express in car form and runs on the hot steam from the burning wood, expanding under pressure and converting the heat into work. As the steam expands, it pushes a piston, which cranks the car's wheels into motion. And since it runs on wood and not coal, this steam engine car is pretty environmentally friendly as well. Number 10. Water Car Panther Check this out. This real-life water car is advertised as the most fun vehicle on the planet, and looking at it, it's hard to argue. The Panther, manufactured by Water Car, was originally made in 1999, but is still in production today in Fountain Valley, California. And when it says it runs on any terrain, it means any terrain. So whether you're going on a cross-country road trip or trying to catch up with an ocean liner, this amphibious car can do it all. It's U.S. Coast Guard approved too and comes with a registered U.S. Coast Guard hull number so that the Panther can be licensed for water usage almost anywhere in the world. On top of this, it transitions from land to water in under 15 seconds, which means you can drive straight off the road and into the water, fresh or salt, in moments. What a vehicle! Number 11. Lift the worst part about fixing a roof is getting all the heavy materials up there to do it, but with this shingle lift, that's no longer a problem. Designed in Autodesk Inventor, an online subscription app used for three-dimensional mechanical design, the shingle lift was built using old elevator roller guides and hatch door rollers as pulleys. There's a rope at the bottom that the lift user holds onto while they walk back, raising whatever is on the lift up to the roof. It's roped at a ratio of 2 to 1, meaning the lift user has to walk back double the height of the roof, but only needs to put it in half the effort to get their materials up there. A handy tool to have if you're planning on some roof maintenance anytime soon. Number 12. Mini Food Processor Food processors are all the rave these days, with gadgets like Nutribullets flying off the shelves seemingly faster than they can be built. This mini food processor will save you a trip to the kitchen store, and all it took to make was an empty bottle, a mini electric motor, a drill, a battery, and some glue. It isn't huge, so it might be used more for making sauces than smoothies, but it's a nifty tool to have in the house and easy to make yourself as well. This one was initially built by Aluma Tools back in 2016. Number 13. Vespa Extra Modified There are Vespas and then there are Vespas, and I'm not talking about the cocktail James Bond drinks in Casino Royale. This 7 meters long, highly modified scooter was made in Indonesia. It houses two fuel gas cylinders, so it's not electric anymore, and a whopping 47 wheels. The kids that built it use it for joy rides around their village, and considering its size, it probably isn't going to be used for a quick run to the grocery store. It's a remarkable modification, though, and looks like a lot of fun to ride. Number 14. Can Press This is a dual-acting power feed crusher. It uses an automatic power feed and is driven by tiny gear motors that operate in both directions. What does it do? Well, it crushes cans, making them much easier to recycle and fit in the trash. Built back in 1999, you can probably get a much smaller can crusher if you need one, but that doesn't make this any less of an impressive invention. It has constant power from the dual motors so that you can crush about 30 cans a minute. Of course, that is if you have that many cans to crush. Number 15. Magazine Loader The magazine loader built by YouTube channel Mr. Larry 0001 can house 40 rounds of ammunition for a rifle. It's sophisticated looking, with its waxed and polished wood, and works by fitting a rifle magazine into the wood canal and sliding the ammunition in quickly and smoothly. Handy to have if you're a gun owner and don't want to load 40 rounds into a magazine one by one. If you're looking to build one yourself, as inventor Larry points out, that he had to create three of his own before he managed to make one that worked smoothly. So don't be disheartened if your first attempt fails. Practice makes perfect. Number 16. Land Walker the Landwalker is an invention that Iron Man himself would be proud of. This robot from 2012 is about 20 feet tall and not for the faint-hearted. The operator climbs into the booth at the top and walks on two giant legs with wheels underneath them. It doesn't move quickly and it doesn't move smoothly either, but it has two ginormous air guns on either side, so the smoothness of the ride probably isn't the point. 
If you're a Marvel fan looking to bring the comics to life or simply need to defend some sort of base camp, this is the invention for you. Be careful it doesn't fall over, though. You don't want to topple down from that high up. Like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified whenever Technify posts new videos. If you enjoyed watching this video, then there is a good chance you will like one of these two videos, so click one of them right now. If you are watching from your mobile device, you can view the following video by clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment below. See you on the other side.